Hey guys, Connie here. Okay, so uh, a lot of you are following along very closely with my journey and that's so nice because uh, I'm getting messages asking how I'm doing this morning. Um, if you saw my post last night, you'll know that um, I had to put my compression back on a little early at the end of the day yesterday because I was starting to get a little bloated, swollen, a little sore feeling. So I wanted to tell you that um, I compressed all night long um, using my just my abdominal binder and I concentrated it more on my lower half last night and I put it pretty tight and I feel like I've woken up this morning with a lot better shape again. Um, I don't feel like I have that bump here anymore. Yesterday I was feeling almost like there was like a bump starting around here, um, but I feel like that's smoothened out and I don't feel any pain or pressure. So, I mean, it's still the morning. I'm just getting started with my day. I just got ready. I do have plans today to go visit with um, my family. And so we'll see how things go. I'll check in with you guys a little later and let you know sort of how my day has gone. I don't really have anything physically extraneous that I'm planning to do today. Um, it should be pretty easy going and I'm gonna try to watch my diet today too because I do think that, you know, if you're having a little extra sodium or a bit much dairy, um, for me, like carbs, dairy, sodium, like that makes me bloat. Oh, and of course gluten, but I don't usually have carbs um, and sugar. So for me, even like sodium dairy can really make an effect. So I'll let you know a little later um, how it's going, but I just wanted to kind of give you a sneak peek um, versus last night that um, I'm feeling 100% better having compressed all night long and we will see how today goes with uh, how long I can last and I'm hoping I can make it to bedtime. Hey guys, just wanted to give you a status update on my compressing. So it's uh, quarter after four. Um, I have not put my compression back on since this morning when I filmed. Um, I will tell you I switched pants. I was wearing jeans this morning and very quickly started regretting that decision. Um, not necessarily that they hurt or that they're rubbing on my incision or anything because really I don't feel that but it was just maybe a bit of pressure um, and feeling bloated and like wearing jeans just did not make me feel comfortable. It could also be because I've been spoiled by wearing track pants for a couple months now straight. So um, I ended up coming home and changing into some softer pants um, that are a bit more comfortable for me and that seems to be helping. I find that I get waves throughout the day that come and go of feeling more and less swollen or bloated. So I just changed my position, you know, sitting on the ground at one point with my niece, I wasn't so comfortable. So I ended up sitting in a chair and like I said, I changed my pants and so I'm managing. I haven't gone back to compressing yet today. I'll do another check-in before the end of the day, but I would say that today I'll probably make it the full day without compressing until I get home tonight. Um, and I'm just sort of, you know, day two of not compressing 24 seven, I'm just still sort of getting used to the feeling of not having the compression. One thing that I'm learning though, is that in having my tummy tuck, I feel like it's helped me correct my posture. And I feel like it's really helped me with my, um, my back and my overall posture because I feel like now, like I sort of find myself standing up a bit straighter and sort of remembering having the garment on and kind of correcting myself, putting my shoulders back more, um, you know, keeping my torso aligned instead of slouching so much. Um, and that's something that I've always struggled with was really bad posture and as a result, like lower back issues. So I'm finding that the uh, compression garments and the binders have really sort of retrained me to remember my posture and my back support and even now that they're not on um, I find myself correcting myself because I prefer now the feeling that I got and the reminder that I got of having uh, proper posture so anyhow day two into not compressing 24 7 feeling a little bit better pushing through not doing anything crazy just be selective about the clothing choices and your seating positions and uh, don't do anything too extraneous but this has been so far a much better day two and I will do another check-in um, before the end of the night tonight now I will admit that I'm going to a friend's house for dinner that there might be some wine involved and there might be some food involved that I don't usually eat so if I do end up bloating by the end of the night more than expected it'll probably have something to do with hey that everyone um, I didn't get a chance to film last night after being at my friend's house because 
let's just say we had a really great night. <laughs> <laughs> but I wanted to let you know the good news. Um, I made it the whole day without wearing my compression garment. Um, I had moments throughout the day where I was feeling a little bit more sore and bloated, um, but I pushed through and nothing uh, was ever very extraneous. Um, the first thing I did when I came home was I put on my compression garment and I went right to bed and um, I'm awake again now the next day and uh, my compression is off and so far so good today. Um, so day two in compressing only half time, I will say that uh, it seems like it's already getting better each day and um, if I need to at some point today I'll put my compression garment back on if I'm starting to feel sore but um, I should be fine I'd imagine if I got through yesterday I'll get through today today is going to be a kind of a quiet day for me um, getting some things uh, done around the house before my kids come back tomorrow and to sort of get settled in for our new week so I just want to let everyone know um, that I'm doing much much better with day two and that uh, things seem to be um, progressing and so I think that this whole halftime compression thing will work out for me um, and I'll continue to follow my doctor's instruction which is to um, try to be without compression during the day and to just wear my compression garments at night. So thanks everyone for checking in on me and wondering how things are going and I hope that you find um, this resource helpful in your journey especially if you're um, recently coming off of compression and you're sort of having some good days, bad days or even good moments in the day, bad moments in the day. Um, I would say it's probably really normal and it's all part of your body retraining um, post compression and surgery. So um, thanks again and I'll uh, keep in touch for a seven week post-op update probably on Thursday. Thanks guys.